Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lee's Enmity explained, Luna's Finn's teenage love child? The bold and the beautiful spoilers and rumors tease Lee Finnegan's enmity against Luna and Poppy Nozawa might be fluently explained. The enmity is easily wrong, but indeed more so if it turns out Luna isn't John Finn Finnegan's kinsman, but his teenage love child. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. No, it's not what it sounds like, no, it's not what it sounds like. Finn didn't have an affair as a teenager with his consanguineous aunt, he may not have indeed known he was espoused at that point, but as a say-so, 16-time-old he could have gotten another teenage girl pregnant and that would cast shame on the family in Lee's eyes. So what better way to save face than to move Poppy, who formerly had a bad family character to borrow Finn's teenage love child? There could have been a script when the gal took a gestation test at the sanitarium where Lai was working and Lai saw her and approached her. Or she could have taken an at-home test and reached out to Lai and Lee and the unattached teen made a deal, since Finn and she could have broken up. Lee Finnegan didn't want her son's future counted down with a woman and child Lai wouldn't have wanted Finn's promising future, formerly in council fix with preen-borns counted down with a youthful woman and child. Her family had formerly bemired the family name by her affair with a croaker, so why not let her raise Finn's love child as hers? It doesn't say important for Lai as a grandmother or a mama for that matter or a family. It seems that character trumps family for the Nozawas, assuming that's Lee's maiden name. As for her and Poppy not wanting Luna to be in Los Angeles, that's easy. If Finn is her birth father, also Sheila Carter is her grandmother. This would also explain commodity differently still. This would also explain commodity differently. The thing that's puzzling Finn, why didn't Lai want him to know Luna was working at Forrester? That's easy, when he was youngish and Luna was little, if Luna is really Finn's son, Luna hanging with Finn and around the foresters could put her in peril from Sheila if she were to find out she's her granddaughter. The enmity could be a smokescreen on Lai's part but given the hate for her family which is absolutely clear, cut, it's presumably not. Who knows, when Poppy cheated with a croaker, in the sanitarium where Lai worked, she may not have been married, it could be a case of sisters fighting over the same man. Lay reveals a secret. Brooke's concern grows. Eric revolutionists against orders. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, October 18 indicate that John Finn Finnegan will eventually get answers. Brooke Logan grows more concerned. Eric Forrester revolutionists against the croaker. It's orders. Bold and the beautiful spoilers highlights the bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Lee Finnegan believes she's going to get by with running Luna Nozawa out of city with no explanation at all. Lee Finnegan reveals a family secret Finn hasn't seen his kinsman in times and knows that Lai is behind that as well. Now that Luna has filled him in this far, Finn wants answers. After continuing to push his mama to come clean, Lai will eventually reveal why she believes that her family and Luna are a disgrace and do and earn to be in Lei or their lives. Once Lai starts talking, she'll tell Finn the whole sordid story. Will Finn agree with his mama when he hears what she has to say? Will Finn defend Luna since she can be to condemn for her mama's conduct? Brooke Logan's enterprises grow Brooke has tried time and again to move Hope Logan to get past her passions for Thomas Forrester and get on with her life. Brooke believes that Hope deserves much better than Thomas. Brooke is also scarified of what might be if Thomas' preoccupation were to come back. Eric and Ridge Forrester's feud is also getting the stylish of Brooke. RG Forrester Joshua Hoffman has been brought into this as well and Brooke is hysterical his relationship with his father will be damaged. Brooke simply wants this feud to end but it may not end the way she wants. Will Eric end up beating Ridge on the runway after all? Lay reveals a secret. Brooke's concern grows, Eric revolutionists against orders Eric Forrester revolutionists against his croaker Eric has been told by his croaker to decelerate down and get the test he needs to be finished so they can find out exactly what's wrong with him. At first they allowed. Eric had arthritis, also they suggested many strokes. Now Eric is coughing up blood and they need to get answers now, not laterally. Still, Eric is a veritably busy man and doesn't have to time to celebrate down when he's in the middle of this contest. Eric is used to being a strong and independent man and doing this his way. 
Eric has no way had to take the aft seat to an illness or anything differently and he isn't about to start now. Unfortunately, Eric's decision to not hear could put him in grave peril as well as beget him to not finish his line. Will Eric Lament dismissing his croaker? Enterprises? Will the line get finished in time for the runway? Luna has a secret family. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say that sooner or latterly, Lee Finnegan's secret is going to come out. A lot of suckers can't help but wonder why she's being so mean to her bastard Luna and demanding that she quit her job at Forrester Creations. Well, it seems like there might be a good reason behind it. Keep reading below for everything you need to know. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Luna has a secret family is there a chance that Lai might actually be Luna's birth mama? That's what the bold and the beautiful suckers are assuming. It just seems so odd that Lai would be so invested in Luna's life and might we indeed say embarrassed of her. Could that be the reason why she so desperately wants Luna to pack her bags and leave this fictional city of Los Angeles? Perhaps, still, it's that everyone has a secret if there's anything that suckers have learned about B&B &B over the times. And it seems like Lai has a lot of secrets that she doesn't want anyone to find out about, moreover. We formerly know that she's not Finn's natural mama. But could it be that she might have intimately given birth to Luna and gave the youthful baby to her family to raise just because she was unable of doing so herself? There's a good chance that Lai might have had a delicate history that she doesn't want anyone to know about. That, or she could have cheated on her hubby. John Finnegan and wanted to keep that under wraps. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Lay has some explaining to do. With all of that said, there's also the possibility that Finn might soon find out that he and Luna are sisters. Or at least, Luna was the family that he no way had. Lay Finnegan sure does have a lot of explaining to do. Of course, suckers will have to tune in to find out what will be coming. The bold and the beautiful suckers. What do you suppose of this story? Watch this space as we have a feeling there's so much further to come. Go ahead and let us know what you suppose by adding some buzz in our commentary section. Also, don't forget that the bold and the beautiful charade weekdays on CBS. You will need to check your original rosters for times. Eric Forrester needed RG Forrester's help. Eric Forrester, John McCook, wanted to do a legacy line and asked for Ridge's help to do it. At the time, Ridge refused because he was too busy with other things. However, Eric plays on RJ's love for him and asks for his help. Eric explained that his hands just wouldn't do the work anymore. RG tried to refuse but his grandfather won out in the end. Eric is thrilled with RJ's work. Eric will tell RG what he needs and he is right there to lend a hand. RG is helping Eric with this collection that will go up against Ridge on the runway to see who wins. Of course, both Eric and Ridge believe they are the best, what will the buyers think when they see these designs from these talented designers? The fashion bug has bitten RJ Forrester. Well, the fashion bug and perhaps the love bug as well. RJ could not be more happy to be working with Eric and having Luda Nozawa by his side. Now RJ is putting more of himself into his work because he feels he has found his inspiration. RJ loves to work with Luna and has no intention of giving that up.